So here's my Wi-Fi router. You can see the reading is over 200, but the maximum safety level for radio frequency is just 10. So this coffee machine is giving a reading of 58 and the maximum should be 3. And you can see that my radio is giving me almost 100. And this is giving me a reading of 90. Here is my microwave. So the radio frequency maximum level should be 10 and this is giving me 561. This is a plug socket that's off and if I put this right underneath I get a medium reading of 20. Just going to check out mobile phone. Wow that's 900 and something that's scary. That is going into your brain. Hi, welcome to my channel, Look 10 Years Younger. I'd normally be making videos about skincare and how to be healthy, but what's the point of doing that if you're sitting in your home, getting your brains fried by all this technology around us? So you've probably heard that there's potential radiation coming from your mobile phone. I know I definitely have over the last 10 years or so. However, I think we kind of push it aside because it's something we don't want to hear. We have such a addictive relationship with our phones that anything that comes between us kind of we, we just don't want to hear basically so I think it's really important that I made this video and hopefully loads of people will watch this I don't want it to be too heavy and too um, doom and gloom because I actually want to give solutions and ways that you can avoid this radiation but definitely do your own research and I'm going to link a couple of studies below so what is an electromagnetic field or EMF well all electricity produces an EMF it can be natural, so if you look at the natural field from the earth, which helps birds to migrate around the world, or if you look at every cell in our body or our organs, they produce an electromagnetic field. And a doctor can do a scan of our heart or our brain to detect activity. They're perfectly harmless as none of these natural fields penetrate our skin or do any harm. However, man-made EMFs are different. They come from virtually everything electric and electronic in our modern world, and they do penetrate our bodies and do harm. There are three types of man-made EMF. So firstly, you've got electric fields. So that can come from hidden electrical wiring in the walls. It can come from the cable for your laptop or for your desktop lamp. It can come from overhead power lines and a device will give off an electric field even when it's turned off. Secondly, magnetic fields. They're most often linked to serious health damage. This comes from power lines, electrical fixtures, all electrical appliances like washing machines or hair dryers and the magnetic field only exists when the machine is turned on and the current is flowing. And thirdly, you have radio frequency or RF and they come from cell phone or TV broadcasting towers. They come from Wi-Fi, they come from baby monitors, cell phones or microwave ovens. Radio frequency waves are erratic and irregular rather than a constant wave and that's the problem. It also seems to be an accumulative effect that can build up over years. So we're kind of part of a big experiment because mobile phone technology has only existed for the last 20 years or so and you may say well everyone seems to be okay but if you consider that brain cancer can take 40 years to develop that's less reassuring. So let's look at how EMF affects our health. So firstly, cancer. Studies have shown that human cancer cells which have been exposed to EMF grow faster than those which are not. Childhood leukemia is virtually non-existent in primitive cultures and the first cases have been traced back to the electrification of our homes. Homes situated near power lines or cell phone towers have a higher rate of childhood leukaemia and various different types of cancer in adults as well. Where people have held their cordless phone or their mobile phone against their head, tumours have appeared in these exact positions, and also breast cancer where women have put their phone in their bra. Number two is reproduction. So when you keep your mobile phone in your pocket, you're exposing your reproductive organs to these waves. One area where there's been many studies and irrefutable proof is where mobile phone radiation is damaging sperm and lowering the sperm count. Pregnant mice were exposed to mobile phone radiation. They gave birth and then those adult mice were more anxious, 
they were more hyperactive and they showed less fear than average mice. So that kind of makes me think, could there be a link with, um, you know, all the autistic kids and all the hyperactive kids that are being born in the last 10 years or so, could that be linked to, you know, radiation? That's just my personal thought. Thirdly is the long-term weakening of our immune system. The human body has many sensitive electromagnetic processes for the proper functioning of our brain, our immune system, our nervous system and other organs. The theory is that like when you would have an electronic device next to a radio and it would interrupt with that radio signal, that these EMFs are actually interfering with our body's normal processes. For example, artificial electromagnetic fields can interrupt our sleep-wake cycle as it suppresses melatonin, which not only helps us to sleep, but it also protects us from cancer. So this could be making us more vulnerable. Also, less sleep lowers our immune system and makes us more likely to get colds. Over a thousand studies have shown that EMF causes biological changes in our bodies. It's been linked to lack of concentration, brain fog and short term memory issues. And finally, number four, as I mentioned, every cell in our body has its own EMF and that's the same for the bacteria, which is harmlessly living in our microbiome. And that just means, you know, friendly bacteria, which is helping to protect us from germs. These bacteria are affected when they come into contact with man-made EMF. For example, E. coli forms part of our gut bacteria, but when there's too much of it, it can cause chronic gut issues. Lab tests have shown that when E. coli is exposed to mobile phone signals or Wi-Fi signals, it multiplies dramatically and after six hours it becomes resistant to antibiotics now that is pretty scary same thing with another bacteria called listeria which you may have heard of so that would make you wonder if the current rise in superbugs and antibiotic resistant bacteria is actually linked to emf however the opposite is true with good gut bacteria that we're encouraged to eat in yogurt and products like that. Studies shown that when they are exposed to Wi-Fi signals, the opposite happens and it kills them off. So I know what you're thinking, why aren't the public being protected and why is no one talking about this? Well, firstly, the industry is influencing regulatory bodies. The science is influenced by industry funding. Sponsored research will give positive results. It's very much like the tobacco industry did, you know, years back when they were trying to show that tobacco is good for pregnant women and all that kind of stuff. It's a trillion dollar mobile phone industry and they have money to influence and lobby and probably bribe to get the regulations that they want from governments all over the world. The second problem is that the planet is addicted to mobile phones and Wi-Fi technology and it's ingrained into kids from a very young age. It's unrealistic to expect people to relinquish their phones and this addiction even when it's damaging their health. So if this video hasn't scared the hell out of you and you're still watching, then what can we do? What positive steps can we take? Well, first of all, with your mobile phone, don't hold it against your head. You can put it on speakerphone. So you may be thinking, okay, from now on, I'm gonna use my headphone to make calls on my mobile phone so it'll be safer. However, it doesn't actually work like that because the radiation from your phone, when you plug this in, just travels up the metal cable inside and it goes straight to your earphones and it goes straight to your brain. This is not a solution. However, you can buy earphones called air tubes and they are basically two air tubes as the name suggests here. So you plug this into your phone, the electric signal goes up here, but at this point here, it's turned in from an electric signal to an acoustic signal. So what's going into your brain where you put these in your ears is not radiation. So the other good thing about this cable is that it's infused with copper, so the radiation is not actually going into your body as you're using it. It also comes with these different size earbuds. This has a one year warranty, and I got this at a great site called Defender Shield, and they sell all kinds of anti-radiation phone covers, earphones, blankets, hats, everything. I'm gonna link this below, definitely check them out. So this cost 80 US dollars or 56 pounds. You may say that's a lot of money, but you're actually protecting your health. You're protecting yourself from radiation. So it's, you know, when you consider over a lifetime, it's not gonna be that much money. However, if you don't have the budget for that, you can buy cheaper alternatives on Amazon. So these were eight pound on Amazon. It's the same thing, the same air tube 
um, idea. However, the sound quality is much, much less with these. So it kind of sounds a little bit like you are underwater when you're talking to people on the phone with this. The next thing I'd advise from Defender Shield is this book, which is really, really great. It goes more into depth from everything I'm talking about here today. This is $9.99 or £7. So definitely check out this if you want to learn more. And the final thing which I got from Defender Shield is this EMF radiation protection blanket. So if you're pregnant, this is great. You can put this over your belly. If you're using a laptop, you can literally put the laps, put this over your legs and then you can put the laptop on top and that will protect you from 99% of the radiation. So it's really soft. It's organic bamboo, which really impressed me. You've got small, medium and large. This is a small size, which is 35 inches by 35 inches. And this cost... 129 US dollars or 91 pounds. If you can't, you know, turn all the devices off in the place where you're sleeping, then you can sleep with this over you and that's definitely gonna help you as well. So if you are walking around carrying your phone in your pocket, try to put it on airplane mode, but we don't really know whether that is still emitting or, you know, receiving a signal, but at least it's something you can do. If you want to actually buy a specialist product, I've got this Sanexir case. I'm going to link this below. So this has basically got a shield in the front section here. So this blocks out 98% EMF and radio frequency signals. It's also got RFID protection, so no one can um, steal your credit card details as well. These kind of cases, they don't actually stop your mobile phone from working because there's the protection isn't on the back. So while you're carrying this in your pocket, you want this side to be against your body because this is still emitting and receiving the waves. But when you hold it against your head, the waves this way are not gonna be going into your brain. So um, I found this quite practical actually. This was about 50 pounds. Now that's a lot of money, but if you think about, um, you know, how much would you pay to protect your health? I don't think it's that expensive. It's quite a nice color as well. So I'm gonna link that. Um, and I got that on Amazon. If you have no budget at all and you're feeling scared and you want to protect yourself, this is my old uh, mobile phone case, just a rubber case, which I got for about a pound on Amazon. And what I did, I got some aluminium foil and that blocks these um, EMF. And I basically cut some foil and I put it in the bottom of the case, then I put my phone inside. So again, when you're carrying this in your pocket, put the um, case against your body Another thing, when you're using a laptop, if you're resting it on your legs, you could get like a paper or some kind of board and cover that in aluminium foil. And again, that will stop those uh, magnetic um, waves from getting into your legs and your reproductive organs as well. So kids absorb double the radiation of adults and that's really scary. So if you do let your kids play on a phone or on a tablet, then I would kind of limit their usage of that and if you can make sure they have all the data or everything they need on the phone and then turn the Wi-Fi off while they're using it that may help as well. Another suggestion to avoid um, RF radiation is to connect your computer to the internet using an Ethernet cable rather than Wi-Fi. So the area where you sleep when you go to bed, you should turn all devices off as during these seven or nine hours um, of sleep it should be when your body is regenerating and it can't really do that if it's being bombarded by Wi-Fi and EMF rays all around you. So the easiest thing I found to do is that before I go to bed, I go to the electrical panel and I turn off the light fittings and the plugs in my bedroom. So literally I know everything is off. And the final piece of advice that I give you is to actually buy a meter so you can actually hold this up against your devices. You can check your bedroom, you can check your kids' bedrooms for radiation. You can actually check whether it's safe. So I looked at loads of these um, online and I ended up buying one by GQ Electronics. So as I mentioned earlier, you've got RF, EF and EMF, you've got the three different types of um, electromagnetic fields. So this measures all three of them in a really easy to understand way. It's not too kind of technical and difficult to understand. If I hold this up to um, the phone which I'm filming with, it tells me that the EMF reading is 0 0.4 and here it says normal. So as this, you know, goes up, it would say high and it would start to blink. So you can change it, you use the up and down buttons here. So 
you can see here it says EMF, then it goes to EF and the reading is 2, it's still normal, and then I can, oh it's gone to 3, then I can change it again to RF and you can see the radio frequency is 6.2, so that's still normal. So the only way to know whether your home is safe or not is to buy a meter like this. Now this only costs 99 British pounds or 118 US dollars and they're based in Seattle so if you are in the US then I think you'll pay less shipping so this has been really helpful to me and it comes with this little card which basically tells you the maximum levels you should be exposed to so with EMF the maximum you should get is 2.5 you know and this is this has just been hugely helpful to me as well as you're going around measuring things so when you're measuring um, a device you ideally you want to put this on top of the device or near it or in front of it because this is also measuring the field that's coming from your body. Remember, human bodies, they're giving off uh, their own field. So it can interfere with the results. And also, if you put this on your mobile phone, for example, you have to wait about a minute or 30 seconds, something like that, because you'll see that the, as I mentioned, it's a um, pulsating, irregular wave. So you'll see it goes from like 400 to 2 to 50 to 500 it keeps going up and down so to get an accurate reading you have to leave it there don't just do it for a couple of seconds and then pull it away when i was checking some of my devices um you know which were on the floor <clears throat> i couldn't work out why they were so high even when i turned the um the power off then i realized this was actually measuring the light fitting that was downstairs it was measuring through the floor so sometimes if you're a bit confused you have to think about what it's actually measuring so if there is a laptop and a mobile phone in the same room and you're trying to measure something on the other side of the room you have to kind of think you know what is this measuring exactly so thank you very much for watching if you have found this information useful please subscribe and hit the bell and please forward this to as many people as possible because i really think that we all need to be aware of the potential dangers of the technology we've got in our homes. So thanks again for watching, have a great day and I'll see you in my next video.